Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right, day two here at Intergeo 2024. Yesterday we had a wonderful time talking to several companies. This year there are three extremely large exhibit halls. So um, it's actually bigger than last year. Today I'm hoping to try to at least get into every hall and see as many people as possible. So yeah, let's take a look and see who's out there. The lady in Manifest Mr. Party Gaming Devices to work with uh, Fixed Party Cash. Really happy to um, you know be agnostic to select the number of RTK receivers. Yeah, Fixed Party Cash uh, integrates this all together nicely without the tax. They can also be used as GCPs. We have uh, spent a lot of work on uh, making sure that we can track the phone together with the RTK information tax uh, very precisely to have survey grade accuracy on. Uh, on your data that you can capture with your mobile phone. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this company that has found a way to mine crypto using base stations. Yes, yeah, setting up a base station will let you mine crypto. It's wild. The company's called Geonet. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what they're doing. Mike, how are you? Hey, Robbie, good to see you. You as well. So Geonet is a really unique global RTK corrections network uh, featuring almost 10,000 RTK base stations. And what's really unique about Geonet is it gives you the opportunity to set up a station and actually earn GOD token rewards, which are a monetary reward for running and establishing an RTK station. So we have a couple of different stations here we want to talk about. This is our standard GeoNet RTK station manufactured by Hifix and sold by uh, 13 distributors worldwide. You purchase this device and you set it up on your rooftop. This element goes inside your house, connects to your home Wi-Fi network, then there's a cable that goes out to this antenna. Um, included in the, with the antenna kit is actually an installation rod and bracketing that you can put up on your house so that you can establish a perfect core station on your own home and it's really simple. Once it's set up and it's in an empty hex, you'll start earning GOD tokens right away. Another station that we've just recently um, been developing and that will be launched shortly is a station that's actually a combination of the GeoNet project and another unique deepened network, another crypto project called Wingbits that actually tracks ADSB flight data along with the RTK accuracy data. And this station is an all-in-one combination of both the receiver and the ADSB radio as well as the internet connectivity. And this station, which is kind of a smart antenna design, you simply connect up to power um, through this port, and you can either connect it to wired ethernet through this port, provide a cable, as well as the mounting bracket, or you just connect it to power and then connect it to your home Wi-Fi network. So you're not having to actually cable anything from outside your house to inside your house when you set this station up. And that makes it a unique installation as well as the fact that it's actually mining uh, two programs, both the GeoNet token and then uh, the Wingbit system. So it gives you an opportunity to participate in two crypto projects at once. This guy is our tried and true, almost 10,000 of them out there and has been you know, very successful in helping us build up a large customer base of RTK users and businesses who buy wholesale data from GeoNet to establish their own RTK networks. So the subscription model is really simple. You can take a look at rtk.geodnet.com. That's a website that has our full map and coverage of all the stations in service and where you can get two centimeter accuracy, where you can get 10 centimeter accuracy. Again, rtk.geodnet.com. As Rami will talk to you about, we have a program with the Survey School for students in the survey school to get free access to the GeoNet RTK network for learning and developing skills in the RTK field. And so guys, anyone that joins the survey school and reaches level four in the gamification will have access to GeoNet's RTK corrections, a great incentive to be involved and to participate in the survey school because you're gaining access to RTK corrections through GeoNet. And so rather than trying to connect to local municipalities, core stations, GeoNet provides you coverage with over 10,000 base stations around the world.
All right, so I'm here at the Hexagon booth and we're gonna take a look and see what new technology they have to show here at Energeo. So what we have here is like a GS05, GNSS smart antenna that we just announced here at Intergeo in 2024. That is a tilt compensating GNSS smart antenna that is very small and very light. And that is the more compact version of like a GS18T. It can also be used on a smart pole together with a prism on the pole and it is fully integrated in like a Captivate ecosystem. And now here at Intergeo, we are also outdoor and we offer a challenge with a bridge that you can also see here. So everyone who wants to join the challenge can stake out the border points of the bridge, set up the bridge and make sure that the ball gets into the box that is on the end. And the one who is the fastest one and the most accurate one wins the prize on the end of the day. What's the prize? What's the prize? <laughs> Come see us and then you will find it out. Right. Roll the ball from here into the bucket. If it's in the bucket, your time counts and you need to do it as fast as you can. Okay. The first time is already 25 seconds. Fantastic. No pressure. So I will stake point 39. Exactly, it looks like a good stick up. It's a good spot. So, tell me when you're ready, and I'll start your job. Okay, then. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> good. Good. Nice. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Get it. Good. Stop. Stop it. Okay. Where am I at? You're a second place. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> By two seconds. Two seconds. This has to just go in now? Yes. Okay, here we go. Come on. Hey! My stakeout skills. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Johannes Hotz. I'm the business lead for the Leica BLK Arc. And I'm very happy to, to share with you the latest integrations we have done together with Boston Dynamics. And Boston Dynamics is, is, is a leader in quad leg robotics, um, delivering the, with the BS Boston Dynamics Spot a powerful um, quad leg robot that can walk stairs in tough terrains, walk autonomously or tailor operated. The BLK Arc is the leading laser scanner in, for robotics where we can scan dynamically an environment where while you walk you capture 3D data. The BLK Arc is very successful in the robotics industry over the last two or three years and now um, with the integration of the Boston Dynamics Spot app of the BLK Arc this allows us that Boston Dynamic users can use their own environment, can mount the BLK Arc, use the Spot app to perform scans, use the Orbit fleet management software to plan schedule scans, um, and this is a full integrated solution for users of the Boston Dynamic application. Um, with this functionality of autonomy delivered with the Boston Dynamic Spot. You can schedule walks of, over multiple floors, you can rescan the environment of an industrial hall over and over again and get a digital twin, an updated version of it while you scan. Paul! Hello! How are you, how you doing, Rami? Good, good. good. Tell us a little bit more about your reality capture solutions. Absolutely. Um, well, firstly, my name is Paul. I look after Reality Cloud Studio in Europe, a technical sales manager. Reality Cloud Studio is our cloud-hosted solution for reality capture data from Hexagon, built on um, HXDR, which is our Hexagon digital reality platform. But Reality Cloud Studio is really a place where we can not only send data from the field to the cloud, but it's a place where we can host um, Hexagon data from all our sensors that you see here at the show, but also it's a very, very open platform. So you can see um, Reality Cloud Studio is uh, browser-based. It's running in the background on, uh, on AWS. Um, to get data up into the platform, as I said, we can go from our field apps directly to the platform if we want to, or we can drag and drop our content in here. Plus, we also have a really nice little application called HXDR Dataflow. Now, HXDR Dataflow, just you know, a little bit like Dropbox or OneDrive, just runs as a client in the background. 
maybe you've got a 100 gigabyte file that you want to upload to the cloud, you don't want the internet connection to cause a problem, then we can upload that using Dataflow. If the internet dies for any reason, it will just continue and resume. So since we've uh, implemented this, you know, no complaints from anyone in terms of uploading data to the platform itself. We can create projects, we can create users on the platform, but we work on a consumption basis with Reality Cloud Studio. So let's say you buy um, you know, one terabyte entry level tier, that upload consumes your quota, but there's no charge for streaming. So tr streaming is completely free of charge as part of your subscription. And also the number of users is unlimited as well. So that means you can share data internally within your organization. And, and you can also stream that to all the other applications like Cloudworks and like a Cyclone 3DR as well. We also have meshing capability on the platform as well. So we can create a mesh with a single button click and it will go off and compute the mesh and create a nice lightweight mesh which we can use for sharing, really nice visualization. In addition, we also have some automatic registration tools in the platform too. So you can take a B2G file from our blk to go or BLK sensors, uh, or you can push data, for example, from a BLK360 from our Field360 application directly to the cloud and perform some registration. But in terms of the platform, you know, these are all the projects. I've got another data set open over here, which is just running. So you know, within the, within the solution, you can create limit boxes, you can do measurements, you can create geotags. We can also do um, really nice virtual tours. So we can create a nice tour through the platform to allow us to share that with end users. So this is what we can see on the screen right now. So um, the infamous Michael Gula that you guys probably know, he provided me this little RTC 360 data set and this is what we're using on the screen now to do some uh, demonstration. But anything we create in the platform, we can share a link to. So we've got these deep link URLs directly to you know, um, a limit box or a geotag or whatever they can be shared. Um, in, obviously we've got full visualization capabilities in here as well. We can change the look and feel of the, the data in the platform. We can switch between panorama, point cloud, meshes at will. Um, and we can also you know, obviously download that data if we want to. So I'm just gonna stop this tour here now on the screen that we can see. Um, and obviously there's the data, I'll just navigate down to here slightly so you can see some of the data. So this is an automatic mesh. On the right hand side, we've got various visualization settings, but there's also a download icon there. So we can download the data. Now we can download the original files or we can actually convert them to different formats. We can download the panoramas, download the meshes as an OBJ. So we can use it in other um, applications if we want to. But one of the key things as I said is sharing. So we've got this little share function here so we can share this with other people in the organization or we can actually have a general access link. So that's a, a public URL which we can share very, very easily. We're gonna start having more analytics in the platform. Things like deviation reporting, scan versus BIM, floor flatness analysis, all those kinds of things that you might have already seen in some of our other, other applications. We'll start seeing that cloudified and brought across into the platform. So you can see in Cloudworks now on the top left-hand corner, we've got this new button which is you know, Reality Cloud Studio. So we can directly stream into our Cloudworks enabled products. So that's Revit, Navisworks, BricsCAD. And what you can see on the screen now is a representation of data that is streaming directly from Reality Cloud Studio. So this is just a very, very simple RTC 360 data set. I've already got some limit boxes that I've defined um, directly within Reality Cloud Studio. So on the screen now you can see just this data is streaming live. We can start drafting, 3D modeling, creating BIMs, um, or doing what we need to. And this, this holds true for Leica Cyclone 3DR as well. So that gives you, Rami, um, uh, hopefully an off the cuff, unrehearsed, raw view of Reality Cloud Studio powered by HXDR. Thank you so much, Eric. Okay. This is our new Icon Trade solution. Classical surveying systems are often addressing surveyors in mind, and this was uh, developed with particularly looking at the pains of these tradespeople. It's super lightweight, just yeah. two and a half kilo, including tablet, so very easy and convenient to use. And this is just a camera that's looking for the sphere, and it's recognized this object and follows it. Exactly, it's kind of sensor fusion, so we use a laser measurement on the sphere, yeah. plus the camera which follows the sphere and uses these computer vision and AI algorithms to calculate the position and to tilt, and by that we have the position of the bottom. Like I can see here in the camera view, it's tracking the sphere wherever I move it. Wow, that's so cool. In addition, we use this stripe pattern to automatically detect the height of the pole. Oh, so, if you so put you know it how out, tall it is. Exactly, and we made it very simple. So we have only three heights. We have a height one, 
height two and a height three on the bottom. So you don't have to key in like one meter fifty two height. It's just taking that automatically. So that right. eliminates user error when you have like the wrong height of the pole. Correct. Exactly. Amazing. And you can also use the pen. You can just change the target type in the in the software. And I just have to hold it in the field of view of the instrument. <laughs> There it is. And it follows me. And this works again, <laughs> super short range. And if I block it with my body, and I just come back in the field of view, it continues immediately. As long as it catches it and exactly. it sees it. I see it? Yeah, sure. It's really responsive, like it's fast. Absolutely. It's super fast. We have uh, direct drives, uh, magnetic dive drives, which uh, move very, very fast. And so this makes it possible to track the sphere on the shortest distances. That's incredible. I love that. This is definitely going to be the future of how like total stations operate. Absolutely. And in addition, I think it's great because we bring now robotic survey to the craftsmen, to the trade people on yeah. the site. In the past, this was purely for surveying professionals, and now we can really bring such technology to the uh, tradespeople. Yeah, because now you're opening up the door to more people to do accurate surveys, and this technology is integrating modern day, you know, AI and object recognition. I love it. This is this is exactly what innovation is all about. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, that was fantastic. Saw a lot of great technology here. Before I leave, I have to get one thing. And that is their amazing coffee. Thank you. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Hexagon. Okay, so I was invited by Alistair from Map Gear to try Tim Tams. It's like this Australian cookie that you eat for breakfast. Um, he was raving about this last night, so uh, I'm gonna head over to him now and give this a try. All right, so I'm here with Alistair. Now you're gonna have to show me this this Tim Tam. Uh, <laughs> explain yeah. to me what this is. All right. So in Australia, we have a tradition called the Tim Tam Slam. So we have these biscuits, and like I said on my own video yesterday, they are just so much better than an Oreo. So basically, it's two chocolate biscuits with a sandwich of chocolate filling, and then the whole thing is dipped in chocolate. So you get the Tim Tam and you get bite off each corner and then you dip it in a coffee like a straw and you suck the coffee up through the Tim Tam and then slam the whole thing in your mouth before it melts and it's just like a chocolate explosion. So I'm just gonna stop and grab a coffee and then we can do a Tim Tam slam. <laughs> the first thing you've gotta do when you're gonna do a Tim Tam slam is you nibble off the corner on opposing sides of the biscuit. Now you're going to suck the coffee up through the biscuit and once the coffee is in your mouth you know the biscuit is completely saturated with hot liquid which is melting the biscuit. So then you've got to act fast. So this next bit won't take long. <laughs> and that is how you do a Tim Tam Slam. <laughs> and that's a wrap for day two. Stay tuned for day three tomorrow here at Intergeo 2024.